The majority of Fortnite competitive players are between the ages of 13 and 18, which obviously means that most of my viewer base are going to be the same age too. And no, I can't trust the YouTube stats because I know most people fake their age. So anyways, there's a good chance that you watching this video right now go to school on a consistent basis. And as you already know from first-hand experience, trying to go pro in Fortnite and do school at the same time is extremely difficult to do. Apart from just struggling to balance it, sometimes it low-key feels like you need to pick one over the other. And that it actually might not be possible to do both, so you either need to quit Fortnite or you need to stop trying as hard in school or quit school altogether. While whatever your concerns are about this dilemma, don't worry because I'm going to give you the answers you want. So first of all, is it possible? Yes, it totally is. Because while bro, almost every single current pro there is right now started their Fortnite competitive journey and went through the journey to going pro while still in school. Yes, many pros did actually leave public school to switch over to homeschool like Clicks and Benji Fishy in pursuit of having more time to practice, which is a debatable decision. Yeah, it'll be unlikely that you're going to be passionate about esports your whole life and then it's going to be sustainable for your whole life. But personally, I don't think homeschooling is going to affect your future too much as long as you still pass and also universities still accept the certificates. But it doesn't matter. The point I'm trying to make here is that these pros only went to homeschool once they had actually seen a lot of competitive Fortnite success. Meaning they went from beginner to pro while being at public school doing it five days a week. So there you go bro, it's possible. If you think about it logically, basically all of your competition that are trying to go pro in Fortnite around you go to school or go to work taking up almost 40 hours of their week. And when everyone has a disadvantage, no one has a disadvantage because it just becomes an even playing field. And the people who don't go to work and don't go to school are the people who are already pro and have already made it so they aren't really a competition anymore. Your actual competition are the other people around you trying to go pro like you too. So now that you know it's still possible to go pro while in public school, there's still a couple things you need to know about balancing the two. The first thing that you need to make sure of is that when you get home, you have almost nothing you need to do or at least as little of it as possible. What I mean by this is mainly about homework. Whenever you have a spare second in your day while waiting on the bus, maybe you're waiting for a class or you're during break times, get your homework completed. And when you're at school and you have spare time and you have done all your homework, why not watch educational Fortnite videos like mine, etc. Yeah, you might look like the weird kid and probably want to be doing something else, but these might be the sacrifices you need to make to go pro, bro. Now, when you get home after school, make sure that you instantly just complete anything else you need to do, like chores, etc. Then grab a snack, hop onto your PC, loading into some free building while you're waiting for a 1v1, and then continue on with the rest of your routine. Just taking a break for dinner. Yes, most days you're literally going to be doing nothing except going to school, playing Fortnite, and sleeping but again these are the sacrifices that you're going to have to make to get that top 0.01 percent success bro which leads me to my next point unfortunately you're going to have to avoid a lot of outside of school activities that take up a lot of time maybe avoid going to the gym heaps of times a week avoid most hangouts with friends and so on you need to understand that I would not give that advice to the average person, but you want top 0.01% success in something, bro. So you're going to have to do some crazy things that other people aren't willing to do to achieve that. Now, the last but probably most important thing about all of this is your sleep. A lot of people think that the later they stay up grinding Fortnite, the better, but that definitely is not the case. If you wake up at 7am for school, I want you to be in bed trying to sleep by 10 to 10.30, giving your body the opportunity to get 9 hours of sleep every night. Yes, you will miss out on a few hours of practice every day, but now, first of all, getting extra sleep means you're going to create stronger memories, which if you realize, is going to make your practice more efficient as you remember your mistakes better. But most importantly, the practice you get the day of you waking up after a 9 hour sleep is going to be 5 times more efficient, you're going to play 5 times better than if you were to get 5 hours of sleep. Meaning, even though you will play less, you will improve faster because you are using the time you're playing more effectively. 
you made it through this whole video, so there's something I'm sure you'd be interested in, bro. My free email newsletter where I post heaps of unique advice and tips and tricks you don't see in my YouTube videos, so join for free using the link in the description of this video.